Heart system right now, uh, I think, really needs a reevaluation, and as far as I'm concerned, a reboot. So, as much as people talk about the success of Korean artists, Korean bands, stars doing well outside of Korea, uh, there's a debate, a growing debate, in fact, a, a raging debate about success inside of Korea. Um, the easiest way, obviously, to gauge and measure and monitor success is chart rankings. And right now, the Korean charts are not only very much under the gun, but under fire for the perception, and we don't know if it's the reality, but the perception that there could be chart fixing, chart manipulation going on. Um, I mean, on one hand, because I happen to work with a lot of artists who are independent, anytime we see an independent artist find chart success where they're outpacing, outselling, outstreaming a boy band or a girl band, you know, we have no choice but to applaud. Um, but this has been a very interesting summer where um, some of the biggest boy bands and girl bands are releasing phenomenal albums, great music videos, and yet inside of Korea, um, they're being outcharted uh, by artists that um, are, are not only new, but many people have never heard of. Because Korea, unlike other major music markets, doesn't have one chart, it has three. There's a download chart, there's a streaming chart, and there is a album sales chart, which is CDs. And the reality is, is that you pick the chart that you appear best on, but there's no unified chart, say like in the US where a certain number of streams and a certain number of downloads equals a certain album sale or what they call an AEU, album equivalent unit. Uh, in Korea, we don't have that yet. And as a result, to truly gauge popularity is really difficult. And then on top of that, if you start factoring in YouTube views, where Korean artists are getting not just millions, but tens and even hundreds of millions of views, as well as social media, if you start adding and factoring all that in, it begs the question, who is really, truly popular? For 2019, some of the things that we would love to see, not just for ourselves, but more importantly for our artists, is um, on one hand, we're very cautiously optimistic that the revenues, but more importantly, the profits that will go to the artists will not only continue to be healthy overseas, but become healthier within Korea. With the success of not just um, the big acts, but the emerging acts on different types of stages all over the world, it's just going to present more op open doors, more opportunities, and, and, and more platforms for really promising Korean acts of different genres, whether they be urban, rock, electronic.